Alrighty guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the five most important things that I think everybody in Illuvium should know. I think many beginners don't know any of these points and even the experts in Illuvium might be surprised to find one or two things in this video that they didn't know before. Alright, first up, the bonding curve in Illuvium. This is one of the most important things for me in Illuvium and I was so surprised on stream when I talked about it that so many people didn't know about it. So bonding curve basically means the more you capture of one Illuvial, the harder it is to capture it. And after a certain while, it's gonna be impossible to catch them and they're gonna completely disappear from the overworld. At which point we're gonna get set number two of the Illuvials, which means there's gonna be a few completely new Illuvials being introduced and a lot of the old ones are gonna get reworked with, for example, different affinities and classes. So for example, you could have a Frost Ramfire, which I would just love. But yeah, the key takeaway here is that Illuvials are on a maximum supply and at one point you're not going to be able to capture the Illuvials that we see today anymore. All right, so tip number two, if you are about to fight the Illuvials to then capture them, before fighting them, you want to check out their stats. So you want to right click them, press shift and you can see the stats. This wink is pretty good. I'm also in a stage one encounter. So a tier three Illuvial is pretty good EV. It's really good expected value. I can get a lot of money back from my run here with good stats. Sure, I'm going to go for it. Uh, Archie, really bad stats, only resistances, nothing else is maxed out. Um, I don't really need this. And a little bonus tip here, stats only matter in the overworld combat and also in the Leviathan Arena. Leviathan Arena is the Ascendant Arena version where stats matter. In the Ascendant Arena, that's your competitive environment, no stats will matter. Every ramp fee is always going to be as strong as every other ramp fee. It's fully competitive, you just need to have the Illuvials but you don't need to have good stats like in the Leviathan arena. But overall saying a unit with perfect stats will be way more worth on the marketplace than it is with bad stats, especially if people start playing Leviathan and there is monetary incentives coming into Leviathan as well. Okay, tip number three, use small shards to capture Illuvials. What do I mean with this? For example, this Wink, um, it's a tier three Illuvial, so you would think a tier three shard is the right thing to do. It gives you 60%. But the thing is, a tier 3 shard might be worth, I don't know, 50 cent, but the Illuvial itself maybe is only worth 60 cent. So what I would suggest to you, if it's not a holo, dark holo, something you really, really want, I would just go with a very small shard. For example, in this case, a tier 1 gives you 15%, or maybe a tier 2 even, that gives you 34%. The thing is, if you don't capture the Illuvial, there is nothing lost. You lose this Illuvial, but you don't lose the 650 energy, which is monetary value, right? You paid for that energy, you get a 4,000 energy for your full run. So you don't lose if you don't capture it. I didn't lose energy right now. I lost the shard that I used, but it was a small shard, so I didn't lose much money there. A little example, the other day I was capturing a foe, a tier five stage one Illuvial, I was very excited. I used the tier five shard. First time, it broke. Second time, it worked. So I used two tier five shards for a foe. Two tier five shards are worth 20 bucks. A foe is worth five to ten bucks so i lost basically over ten bucks just using the wrong shards and if i would just have used a small shard maybe i wouldn't have captured it but then i still have all my energy and i can still for example farm resources farm mine rocks shoot down plants and so on because you don't lose energy when fighting another tip here that i can give you is always bring a team bring illuvials at least a lot of them that you actually want to level up to fuse them because then when you don't capture an Illuvial, you just went into the fight to fight, you at least got some experience from it. Which ties in into our fourth point right here, which is once you're out of fuel, you're down to zero fuel or down to 500 fuel, 300 fuel. So you know um, the region is going to close in soon. You have to leave some. Fight every Illuvial you find. Because every Illuvial you find and that you fight will give you XP and XP in that sense is worth money. Because every run, what can you get? You can use your 4,000 energy to spend on Illuvials and resources, and you can get experience. So if you use your Illuvials till the end, till they cannot fight anymore and fight everything on the map, this doesn't cost any energy as long as you don't capture Illuvials, and it's going to give you experience. Experience is monetary value. Because if you have seen it or not, for example, one Ador is worth around five bucks right now, but an Adorius is maybe hundred bucks. Because all that experience that takes a lot of time, effort and money to level them up. So get the full value, especially out of higher stage runs, 
by doing all the fights you can until your Illuvials are KO. At which point you would have to use a consumable to restore them, a ring nut. But this again is monetary value, so maybe it's not worth it. And then lastly, my fifth tip is don't stress too much about FOMO, getting in early, getting all the Illuvials and so on. Because fuel prices right now are dropping. Why are they dropping? Because land owners are providing fuel and land owners are still building up their land plots. It was originally planned to have land released uh, like a month before the main game. This wasn't possible. It was released with the full game and now land owners are still building up their fuel production. At which point the supply will increase so the price will lower. Also there have been some zero updates which even increase the fuel production even more. So you will be able to buy fuel cheaper soon. So what I'm doing right now, I'm stopping stage 3 runs for the moment. I just want to play a lot, but don't pay too much. And I wait with stage 3 runs till we have Crimson Waste, I can get my Ramphy. And until fuel prices have dropped a little bit. And then lastly, a word from our sponsor. Today's sponsor is Illumination, as every day. Thank you very much for your continuous support. If you want to support the channel, if you like what you're seeing, if you want to support the content, Feel free to go to account settings on your Illuvium IO homepage profile right here. And then you find a tab that's called referral code. And if you enter my referral code pass right here, this is supporting me as a content creator. It doesn't take anything away from you. Thank you very much. And as always, have a wonderful day. See you in the next one. Peace out.